It's Friday, September 5th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. As Liberia deals with an Ebola outbreak, it's expected to also have to handle future food shortages. A UN report revealed that the steps taken to contain the outbreak, like restricting cross-border trade, will mean difficulties for farmers in the harvesting season. For Liberia, this trade is crucial as it relies on grain from abroad to feed its people. The UN estimates 1.3 million people in Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea will need help feeding themselves in the coming months. Fast food workers at chains like McDonald's, Wendy's and Burger King are on strike nationwide, demanding a wage increase to $15 an hour. In Detroit, police arrested 30 protesters who blocked traffic with their demonstrations. Protesters were also arrested in New York City on Wednesday during a sit-in in Times Square. The protests stem from a movement that began in New York in 2012. Demonstrations have taken place in 159 cities. Russia's ban on key food imports from the West is making Argentina its new food supplier. Russia announced a one-year embargo banning the imports of all food staples, like meat, vegetables and dairy. Argentina has stepped in to fill the demand by increasing beef and dairy exports to Russia. And Russia is going to need these new food sources, since it's the world's fifth largest importer of agricultural products. Guatemala's prison chief has been accused of involvement in a multi-million dollar organized crime empire run in prison by a convicted killer. Sergio Camaro is being charged with money laundering, conspiracy and bribery. Prosecutors said at least 12 others are implicated in this case. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Завтра 9 дней будет. Вот у меня двое внуков пострадали. Завтра еще одному одного прооперировали. Хотела. Я здесь родилась. Родились мои родители, внуки, дети. Но я не хочу такую страну.